Hello and welcome to Five Minutes in the Shed. So, um, yes, yeah, sit rep. Um, so the Tribza, we've done about 50 miles now, running it in uh, and testing it. Uh, a few things I've noticed. Um, first thing is clutch is rubbish. Right? So um, I've got some new clutch springs uh, to put in there to try and make that a bit better. Uh, primary drive leaks, uh, so we've got oil leak there. Um, and we've had another disaster as well. Um, so it started with uh, the rocker covers leaking. Right? So the rocker gaskets are, have blown and that's leaking oil. Um, head gasket's gone, um, that's leaking oil. Um, and I couldn't figure out why, right? so it's a bit strange. So I've been riding it, trying to like, fix the leaks as I go. Um, and yesterday it was belching oil out of the breather, uh, the one that comes out of the inlet cam. And it's just spewing oil out all over the floor. I mean, that's seriously bad. So um, so I wasn't really sure what to do. And I went on a forum. I said, guys, look, you know, I've obviously got an oil blockage somewhere. If you've had this oil blockage, can you tell me where it was? And you know, I had loads of ideas come through, most of which I kind of already knew. But one guy says to me, have you checked the oil breather on the oil tank? And I'm like, yeah, 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 that's going to be fine, you know. So anyway, I was standing next to the bike when I read it, and I, I blew up the pipe, and it was solid. I mean, absolutely solid. And what I realised was, uh, where is it? When I'd blocked the oil breather on the oil in frame oil tank, all right, uh, to send the frame for powder coat in, I'd put a screw in the end of it, all right, to block it, so no powder coat went in. This is the screw, all right. And it was still in there. Bloody left it in there, right? So I'd overpressurized the um, the oil tank. The oil couldn't return because the airspace in the oil tank was red hot and expanded, right? Um, and if the oil can't return, right, it's forced up through uh, the head and through for, through uh, the rockers, right? And um, obviously, I've, I've kind of I've pressure tested the top of the engine and or pressure tested it to the limit where it's blown all the gaskets, right? schoolboy error All right so I'm fixing that now anyway um, let me show you the bike okay then so the old machine I tell you what it goes really well it goes well it starts well runs well and um, one thing I did find um, which I don't think I've put on a video um, do you remember when I was first building it and I put a, co a coil in and I said, I don't think the coil's very good, right? And I was testing it, and I thought, oh, yeah, the coil looks a bit suspect. But then it started. It started, and it ran an absolute treat. So I thought, well, actually, the coil must be okay. Anyway, uh, one of the first test rides I did, a uh, 20-mile round trip, uh, it actually broke down, uh, just stopped. And um, I let it cool down a little bit, and then it went again. And the coil um, was failing. Uh, it was breaking down when it was hot so I've got a new coil on there I'd actually ordered the new coil anyway because I thought the coil was bad anyway and um, so the new coil on that's fixed all right that's good um, so I've got weeping from the end of the rock shafts um, which you can get anyway right but especially when you over pressurize the engine um, I've blown uh, the rubber gaskets on the rocker inspection caps they were all leaking um, the gaskets on the rocker caps, rocker covers themselves were leaking uh, because of obviously over pressurizing the engine. Um, clutch, cl uh, the primary side was leaking. Um, I mean, it might, might have been that I blew a bit of pressure in there from the crank seal um, and forced it to leak. I don't know, but anyway, so new, new gasket on there. What I did realize was, was down here, uh, the clutch was rubbish, all right? a bit pants. Right, I was still getting the adjustment just right, but it was a bit crappy and the clutch was slipping. Um, so I've ordered some new springs and uh, I put new new bolt, uh, new nuts on as well because the old ones were getting a bit manky and chewed. Um, the new springs came, right, proper ones for the bike, same as the ones that were in it, but they're about eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch longer, right? So obviously the, the old ones have obviously collapsed over the years, you know, you know they're pretty old now, you know, 60 years old. So I put new springs in, seems a lot better now. Um, obviously I won't know until I test it. Um, so uh, yeah, new gasket on there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So Tony the Tiger to the rescue. I've literally just had to eat 72 bowls of Frosties to make a gasket. Um, 
So I've marked the gasket out there. So there's the gasket. So I need to cut that out. That's um, that's the first job today. Um, so yeah, the the breather. This breather, I, you know, I asked on the forum, I said, what do you reckon? And this guy said, oh, check the breather. And the, the breather for the tank is here, right? The, all, uh, the cap for it's there, and the breather's there. Actually, while I was testing it, I noticed that there was oil spewing out from the cap, right? Which is a bit unusual, but I thought, oh, maybe it's just the gasket. So I put a new bloody gasket on it. So I actually upped the pressure. Duh. So, um, yeah, anyway. Pipe comes off the breather nipple here, comes down here, it just, just vents to the floor, right? And I, I read his comment on the forum and I'm like, and I blew like that and I couldn't blow up it. And uh, I thought, that's all right, I haven't took the cap off. So I took the cap off, like that, and I blew up it again. Right, and now, uh, as you can see, I can blow up it now, but I couldn't blow up it before, and this screw, which obviously the head's painted, the head's got powder coat on, it's black. The nipple's black, it's in a bit of a dark area down there, I didn't see it, didn't see it, and with my dodgy meat pies. So, anyway, right, so, fix that now, tank can vent now, and as you know, when air gets hot, it expands at a, a tremendous rate, so the pressure would have been incredible. And um, one thing you can do with these engines, if you're testing to see if the rockers are getting uh, oil properly if you put your thumb over the end of the return line that forces the oil up to the top of the engine up to there and that's essentially what I've done you know I'd, I'd, I'd put my thumb over the oil line with this little screw and it's blown it all out of the top so what can I do well I can I can just try and run it now to see if it leaks anymore but the thing is I've blown all the gaskets so the gaskets are leaking now anyway and they won't reseal themselves by magic. So I've probably got to take the top off the engine again. So top off the engine, uh, reseal all the gaskets, put it back together again. Um, it's such a shame because it was running beautifully and I've got it to set up really, really sweet. Um, but you know, what can you do? Um, so yeah, one tiny little error and uh, buggered it up. Yeah, kicking myself a bit really. Um, so anyway, I'm going to reseal that, put that back together, so that's done and done and dusted. Um, will I need to retime the engine? No, I won't need to retime the engine. So yeah, I can put that all back together. Um, so I'll do that first, uh, and then tear down. So tank off, seat off, uh, disconnect the battery, carburetor off, exhausts off, uh, head steadies off, oil lines off. Uh, HT leads off, uh, yeah, proper, proper tear down. What can you do? Here we go. <laughs> the uh, primary drive all put back together again um, looks pretty nice and sealed now and I've got a uh, new clutch springs so that should be good um, I'm, I'm kind of torn now do I take it off the stand test the clutch or do I just go straight in to taking the top end of the engine off I think I've got to take the top end of the engine off I'm just trying to put it off I'm just trying to convince myself that it's okay now it's, it's not okay it's leaking all. I need to pull the top off. So that's what I'm going to do now.
So top of the engines off. Now I'm going handheld because I want to show you some stuff, right? That is the head gasket as I just took the cylinder head off. So you can see that the head gasket's gone all around there. It's gone there and it's gone at the back here as well. And you see all the oil that's around the side there and the oil that's at the back. So yeah, something wrong with that. You know, you shouldn't blow a head gasket like that unless it's because the oil tank was blocked and I forced oil back through the valve guides and that's gone into the bores and you know popped the head gasket. So head gasket and let's come over to the bench. This is the bottom of the cylinder head as I took it off. It looks pretty good. I mean from a, like a combustion point of view it looks great but you can see where the oils come through. So need to reseal that head. Now when I took it off those centre bolts there, the centre head bolts, oh man, they were tight. They didn't want to come out with, with the engine in the frame at all. So I'm hoping I can put it back together with the engine in the frame. Um, <laughs> we, we shall see. Um, yeah, we shall see. Right, need to clean everything up and uh, clean the head gasket up and everything and uh, we'll start again. Okay, by the magic of television, everything is cleaned up. So the head's all clean, ready to go back on. That's good. I've resealed the push rod o rings in uh, push rod tube o rings in there. Um, I've uh, I haven't got any gaskets uh, for the rockers, so I've made some gaskets. Um, honestly, I should have shares in Kellogg's breakfast cereal, really. Um, so I've made some gaskets for those. Uh, glued on one side, uh, Hylamar on one side, um, and there's the other one there. Uh, bolts are all cleaned up, wire brushed, everything. That's all good. Um, I've got the head gasket um, which has all been annealed and cleaned and uh, I've given it a spray with the copper gasket spray so that's all ready to go it should be a bit tacky yes it is tacky so that's ready to go on um, the only thing I don't know now is if I can put it on with the, with the bike in situ in the frame the problem is when you come to put these rockers on Right, these bolts, bit of slime in the end, these bolts don't go past the frame, so you have to kind of oik it that way and then put the bolt in. And I don't know how I'm going to get on putting the the, uh, the push rods on the cups doing that. Might be a bit tricky. Um, I'm going to give it a go, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, right, so ready to build the top end of the engine again. Again. All right, okay. Right then, so got the head on. Um, it is a bit tricky getting these head bolts into these rockers um, but I managed to jiggle it and they're on uh, the challenge is getting the push rods to seat in the cups um, but I, I just checked that and it seems to be okay so I've put the, these head bolts in very loose still right so the head's still got a bit of play on it uh, I'm going to make sure I'm going to tighten these ones first I think um, these, these two and these two first because the, the leak on the head gasket was in the middle. And I'm wondering if I tighten these on the bench first and then it couldn't seat properly. Don't know, but you know, worth a, worth a go. Anyway, seems to be working okay, jiggling it. That was the hard one, so I'm gonna do the exhaust one and, uh, and then see how we get on. Should be okay. Right, so engines all back together, uh, resealed, um, we're all put together, you know, properly again. Um, just need to tighten the exhausts up because they're on loosely. I uh, need to set the tappets um, on the top of the engine, make sure they're okay. Um, 
and that's pretty much it. However, it's quite late, it's like 10 o'clock, so I'm going to call it a day with my nicely rebuilt engine, and then, um, yeah, tomorrow morning I'll put everything back together and we'll see if it will go. Ready? Let's uh, let's see if it'll start, shall we? Check you can see it, yeah you can see it, right, uh, ignition key, fuel on, check we've got power, give it a tickle, get the clutches free, which it is, Bit of compression. Bit of compression. Uh, that's no good. Choke, maybe. Working. I've got oil flow coming back to the tank. Um, took a bit of kicking now. I think the kickstart was slipping a little bit on the clutch, so I might need to adjust the clutch again because put no springs in there. But um, yeah, it goes, runs, almost ticks over, uh, but it is cold. Um, I think we're ready for a test ride. Right folks, well test ride done and uh, according to my phone app to track my motorcycle ride maximum speed of, wait for it, 66 miles per hour, fantastic and um, and yeah, it really runs sweet as a nut, uh, brilliant and uh, if you can have a look at the engine there not too much or a little bit of weepage on those gaskets but I made them out of cornflakes boxes, you know what I mean, they're not perfect so I might have to get some proper gaskets at some point for that but if you look underneath the engine on the floor no oil fantastic much better so thanks for watching and uh, thanks for sharing my uh, epic stupid moment leaving a screw in the oil sack breather there's a lesson all right 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.